This is California. While this state is known for its glitz and glamour, it is also home to some of the highest real estate prices, highest taxes, highest homelessness population, and highest number of business regulations. In many parts of the state, you've got tent cities, crime is out of control, schools are the bottom percentile. Mm -hmm. There are people who are dying on our streets. The estimate is that 1,000 people will die on the streets of Los Angeles. All of this, combined with an extremely high cost of living, is forcing residents and businesses to leave the state at record numbers. I'll tell you, Californians, when they move to Texas, they're shocked. Their standard of living goes up 40 to 50 percent overnight. And many of us are leaving not only California, but other liberal states for a better lifestyle for our, for our children. Failed liberal policies are just simply encouraging the situation. People just saying, we can't put up with this anymore. So you just can't live like this. I know this all sounds so traumatic, but uh, the thing is, it is all true. It is not some made up fantasy. California really is going downhill and it's going downhill very quickly. And so I am going to be one of those people who is also leaving California now because, oh gosh, I am so done with it. I'm so done with it. <laughs> I have been done with it for actually many years now and I was trying to leave, but I, you know, couldn't quite get out yet. And now I am actually ready to pack my bags and finally get out of here to move to a better state, you know, because I love America, you know, some of you know, I'm European and I moved here many years ago and I love America. I think it's such a beautiful place and I love the American people. They're so amazing. Um, California just isn't for me. It never really has. It was kind of a mistake to even choose California when there's so many other states I could have chosen. So the main reasons I leave is, uh, there's two main reasons. Number one is taxes. Uh, it's just crazy how high they're now and everything costs an arm and a leg, basically. <laughs> and uh, gasoline prices, I mean, everything. They put taxes on every little thing. Soon they're going to uh, charge us for breathing air. You know, they're gonna tax us on that too or something. It's just insane. So that is one reason and then the other reason which might surprise you, uh, because it's actually a reason why many people move to California is because they have, you know, well, because there is a nice warm environment all the time, or like say they call it the perfect weather. Well, to me, I don't like warm weather at all. I can't stand it. Ever since I was a child, I could not wait for the summer to be over and just get to fall and spring you know because and winter because I love cold weather so much more so that's the other reason I don't like the weather I don't like to be living in an oven so people keep telling me well you can move to the northern part of California it's much cooler there you know but the thing is the same taxes still apply and the real estate is still crazy high. It does not matter. You know, California, everywhere, you want to buy a house, you know, you have to pay a million dollars just to get a shoebox somewhere. You know, it's ridiculous. It's just a waste of money. It's not worth it to even buy real estate anymore in California because it has gone up so crazy much. And now that um, Trump will be gone and his tax cuts are going to be killed by the new president, uh, he's a Democratic president, I need to at least not live in a Democratic state where things are just going to become even more expensive, you know, alone with this new president. I'm not a Republican and I'm also not a Democrat. The fact is, I never was a follower of either party because I'm not happy with either party. They have both some good and some bad ideas. And all my life, I have seen myself as an independent. I have never been interested of calling myself a Republican or a Democrat or any other party. So I've always seen myself as someone neutral in the middle. 
And if it was up to me, I would prefer a brand new type of party. And hopefully in the future, maybe we will have more than just two parties to choose from. And I mean, were it actually being taken serious, you know what I mean? Because so far, most politicians have always yeah, disappointed me. And maybe I am part vampire, but I just love dark skies and I love rainy days. And I just want to be home in a room like this and just cuddle up, you know, with a book in front of the fireplace. And it's like ice cold outside and it's just so romantic and wonderful. And I love this so much more than beaches and palm trees and just not my thing and not that I don't like the beach but you know what I hardly ever go there because usually it's really crowded and you know there's really not much to see uh, except for millions of people so unless I see little animals there you know I don't really want to go <laughs> I don't really care for the beach you know I know I'm a little strange but that's just the way it is with me I'm a little weird see this for example I mean this is amazing I just want to look out of my window and see things like this, you know, like really cute animals and lots and lots of pine trees. I love the smell of pine trees and I miss them so much and I miss the mountains and I need, uh, I just want to be out there and bite into the frozen air with my teeth. You know, it's like exciting to me. I get excited when it gets cold and dark outside. <laughs> And of course, there is also uh, smaller reasons like, you know, in general, um, in the area I am is Los Angeles County. And that is, of course, very highly populated. And it's a little too much for me. Um, I don't like it. I don't like to be around too many people. <laughs> and there's this enormous, crazy traffic all the time if you are anywhere near the, the bigger city areas. It's really bad. And then there's also the very sad fact that a lot of people are homeless now and I feel so, so bad for them because it's, it hurts me to just see these people sleeping on the street and not being able to afford a, a roof over their head because, you know, housing is crazy expensive now too. And so there's so many homeless people who live on the streets and I feel so bad for them. I mean, I wish I could scoop them all up and say, hey, I'm going to just build you a home and you can live in it and all that. But unfortunately, I'm not a multi-billionaire and I'm not a politician, so I don't have those powers at uh, this time at least. <laughs> Maybe in the future, who knows? <laughs> but right now I can't help them and it's horrible. Like I said, it's painful to see it. And I don't want to see it. I just, I just, ugh, I can't. It's too sad. And then on top of that, a lot of those people are on drugs. And that's another thing. I'm really not attracted to people who are on drugs. It's not my thing. Yeah, uh, it's a turn off and it's sad and depressing. And I don't want to see it. And I don't want to be around it. And then there is the constant yearly fires all over the place and which makes me think even more I'm living in an oven. <laughs> so I, I just no, I need to get out seriously. Because you know, the summers in California are like never ending. It's like eight months of summer. <laughs> it just never ends. And then you have maybe if you're lucky, you will get two weeks of winter. <laughs> That's it. So in case you're wondering what state I will be moving to, to be honest with you, I have not decided yet, but I will know uh, very soon now. Um, so there's a lot of states that I'm very interested in. For example, I really love Montana. I mean, Montana has the mountains and the pine trees, the forests. I mean, that's the environment I really would love to be in. And then there's Idaho. And Idaho is my number one choice, uh, but I don't know if I'll be able to start there. I might have to live somewhere else first and then move to Idaho and maybe retire there because Idaho is definitely my number one uh, choice because it has everything I need. It's just still the real estate prices are still a little bit high 
and uh, Montana is much cheaper. North Dakota will be another state much cheaper. Michigan, much cheaper. Indiana, very good real estate prices. And then there is Illinois, which I also love. Um, and yes, Illinois, Chicago area. <laughs> I know that's a crowded area too. However, I might end up there first for a while before I move to a more green estate that ha also has the mountains. Because even though Illinois and Chicago, this is beautiful state. I mean, I love the people there. I was there so many times already and I, I'm so happy whenever I'm there. But the thing is, there's one thing missing as the mountains. And then I really, it's just flat land. And I, one of the things I must have is mountains and forests and cold weather. And of course it has everything except the mountains. So if you happen to live in any of those Northern states, colder states yourself, and um, maybe you can tell me about it. Let me know if you love where you live and how it is and all that, you know, that would be helpful. And I would love to hear from you. And when will I move? I don't have an exact date yet since I haven't decided exactly where yet. However, my goal is to move this year. I actually wanted to move last year, but because of the the stupid Corona thing, you know, it kind of messed up my plans a little bit. So I have to uh, postpone just a little tiny bit. It's not going to be the biggest deal, but you know, I wish I could have moved, you know, yesterday, <laughs> but I have to be patient and it's okay. Um, everything is, is going, you know, into gear now for me to get out of here. So all I have to do now is just uh, choose a place, uh, get in contact with real estate agents in the area. So, cause I really hate renting. I don't want to rent. I might have to if I can't find a house to buy right away, but I really want to uh, buy. And so we'll see what happens. But I'm really excited to move. I cannot wait. And one more thing, if you also happen to be somebody who is in California right now and you are moving, let me know in the comment section where you are moving to and also why. I would love to know. So let me know. Okay. Have a super day. Bye.